already predefined codes that uh, just took your code and saves in a separate file so that whenever you need to use that object code you will just go back, go to the library and give the reference of your code where it is saved then it will go to the primary memory primary memory is basically your hard drive where you save your program the loader go uh, the disk saves your uh, program through the loader the loader load the program in the memory whenever you need it okay and then the cpu takes that um, that uh, memory location and perform each instruction that is, will be translated into the object code and executed possibly storing the new data values as the program execute like if you have a program that stores some value your program does not need to compile again it will just store that memory inside your program as you instruct your computer accordingly so you can save those memory uh, save those new data also in your object code so there are six steps total first four steps consist of edit preprocess compile and link first you edit uh, in editor you write your code if there is an error your compiler gives you an error message you edit your program then it will be sent to the it will be sent uh, it will be preprocessed so that your code can run on different type of machines or computers and then it will be sent to the compiler's main phase where it will be compiled and turned into the object code and that object code will be saved on your disk memory so that you can use it again and your linker then link that memory to the library of your uh, of your main executable code so that whenever you click on the icon if i click on my computer icon it goes to the object code which reference to the my computer functionality it saves that object code and then it will go to the loader to load that program in memory loader load that program from the memory and put that program back into the memory accordingly and then it goes to cpu where it will be executed and your cpu takes all the instructions of your program and the, and execute your program if your program is uh, is uh, instruct, instructs the cpu to take the new values it will take the new values and save all those values in the memory and then put the object code back into the memory now come to the fourth generation of programming languages fourth generation are even easier to use the third generation like i said before when it when there is a software uh, like uh, whatsapp the new version is added to make the software more easier to use for the user okay so when they made some changes in the high level languages they they make them more easier to use for the developers to develop something in it or write a code accordingly fourth generation languages may use a text based environment okay like i have shown you before in uh, the code of in uh, browser we use text based coding text based language in our uh, text editor so that it will be easier to understand it will be easier to understand it allows the user to work in visual environment using graphical tools like you have uh, have you heard about photoshop yeah so uh, you can see that uh, there is already diff uh, so you can uh, see that there is already predefined 
tools shapes you can use rectangle or you can use transition math uh, transitions in it already defined graphical tools are already present for a programmer or designer to design that thing okay so we can say that the fourth generation language is both basically text based or more graphical in nature okay the fourth uh, this language that comes under that span of fourth generation high level language is visual basic visual basic allows uh, already have buttons in it already have screens in it you just drag and drop the uh, button in your desired position in your code so it will be already already the buttons code will be added at the back end of that graphical representation of button which will be added to your source code now come to the fifth generation language nowadays we are using fifth generation languages also the fifth generation language is the last of it the fifth generation language are an issue of debate in programming okay the fifth generation language are an issue of debate in programming uh, community some programmers cannot agree that they even exist okay they cannot under, understand it or they cannot say that uh, there are uh, there is any fifth generation language that exists in it because most of the programmers did not work in that area because these high language uh, language like uh, high level languages use artificial intelligence to create software have you ever heard that word before artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is basically is that you write a code that can create its own code according to its need okay so that if i develop a machine like i develop let's just say a robot okay i develop a robot that uh, cleans my floors okay a cleaner robot it already create a function in it already that robot creates a functionality on its own that i have to remove a chair from the place to clean the uh, area of floor under it okay so this is basically artificial intelligence that i will write a course a code as th that is so much efficient that uh, this code can create a code of itself accordingly have you seen iron man yeah iron man has a, a software uh, assistant that is called jarvis yes yeah that jarvis is basically an artificial intelligence based software that assist iron man to do these things so basically artificial intelligence is that we write a code and that code can create its own code accordingly by uh, ass assessing the environment or the situation so these make five generation a fifth generation language extremely difficult to develop some problems using constraints rather than algorithm used in artificial intelligence called prolog the system that we create in artificial intelligence using artificial intelligence logs every situation in it 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 keep the history like we have our uh, our brain to keep the history of situation like that happened before if i do something it will be bad for me or it will be good for me based on previous experiences so artificial intelligence is basically human like experience for the machine so that they can use their previous experiences so uh, to perform the new task okay so that will be all for today so can you tell me anything how many language uh, how many uh, language uh, categories of uh, human uh, sorry computer languages are there Hello. Um, there's five generations. 
five generations of okay so first generation is which language machine language okay ryan second generation is which language assembly language assembly language and third point fourth and fifth generation is both of you anyone high level high level languages and which uh, generation language uses artificial intelligence fifth generation good very good uh, in our next session we will start working with understanding the web development environment and a little bit start with the main basic coding okay in next uh, session we will start with that uh, um, code and uh, let me show you what we the compiler where is it where is it where is it? i have a compiler uh, yeah, that one can you see my screen No. Wait. No. Let me share my screen. Okay. This is basically a compiling software and also called editing software. Uh, software where we can write our code. Okay, like this, I have wrote the HTML code in it, and uh, here is the uh, styling sheet, cascading style sheet, CSS code in it, and that code is embedded in this code here in link style sheet. Okay, this is basically a coding environment which uh, which we use to write our code. Okay. So we will be using Visual Studio Code for coding purposes. And uh, here is when I click on new file, it will ask me to select a language. Okay, in which language I want to code. These are the C, C++, C Sharp, C++, CSS, CUDA, CSS, Conjure, Compose, Dart, Diff, Docker. These are the languages that uh, this, uh, uh, compiling environment allows me to use and uh, by uh, clicking on it it will allow me to add uh, it will already assess my coding and give me options the best part of uh, this uh, software is that it will assess the uh, my uh, code and uh, give me uh, most of the options so that i can use like uh, here uh, I have uh, right ALT space S. See, it gives me option what kind of thing I want to perform. If I write style, if it, it will give me the styling attributes. Like if I, I want to style the border of my uh, output or give me, uh, give it uh, margin, height, display, padding. Okay. So this will be our software which we'll use for the coding purposes so anything you want to ask about today's lecture anything you don't understand why do they say um why fifth generation doesn't exist because uh, most of the developers found it difficult to code Fifth generation languages are the languages that need complex logical code to write a code. Basically, fifth generation language is not that you uh, write uh, some code in some language. It is a code that is that much complex that it allows your output to think and execute according to the previous encounters. Okay. Like I have, I give you example of a robot, like robot have a slider, it does not have leg, okay? When it goes to the, uh, when it want to go down from the stairs, it cannot go down by the, using the slider, it will just drop down from the stairs, okay? 
it will store that experience in its memory. I will write that code accordingly that it can store its experience at its in its memory location. And when the, in the future, when it wants to go down the stairs, it have to find some new way to do that. And for that, it I do not have to write a code for that. It will write the code for itself. Okay. So that's why most of the uh, developers think that the it is uh, the fifth generation language is a myth. Basically, it is a simple code that you write so that your code will be so much effective and efficient that you, it does not need a developer. You have seen Terminator movie, Terminator, Bear Machine, just uh, Arnold's movie, where robots attack the earth and trying to take over. Yeah. So this is basically it, it happens because of the artificial intelligence, because the robots think that the humans are endangering themselves by uh, uh, because of the global warming and all that. So they started terminating humans because the code, their coder develops them in such a way that so they can protect humans. So they see that see the humans as their enemies and stores that in their memory and develop a new program where which allows them to start killing the humans. Okay. So artificial intelligence have some negative aspects also. You cannot make the machine independent. If you make the machine independent, it will cause what will it cause? First thing, unemployment machines will start doing their own work okay machine will do whatever they want to do so we will write the code so that we will get some certain output not uh, uh, allowing our software to do what it wants to do okay that's why most of the developers think that the fifth generation language is a myth or it does not exist or it does not have to exist Okay. Anything else? Thank you. Okay. Anything Not else? Happening. For more videos, subscribe my channel.